Hi there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate through Kalkana Calculator Editor and how to build your interactive calculator. First, let's go through your left side menu. Under Account and Billing, you can manage your plans, billing details, passwords, and anything related. Then, by going to My Calculators, you'll find a list of all the calculators you created in one place. And the last menu choice is for building your new calculator. So let's just jump straight there. To create the first calculator, click Create New and you'll see two options of how you want to begin. In my case, I'll start from scratch. Once you open the editor, start by clicking on the plus icon at the upper left side to add new elements. On this page, you'll see a list of different element types and tools that you can add to your interactive calculator. Now let's choose a numeric input field. If you want to edit a specific element, click on it in the calculator itself and element settings will appear at the right side of your screen. Here you can change the label, add additional information and set up the important specifics. Keep in mind, the settings you see might be slightly different depending on your chosen element type. Now let's go ahead and type in input 1 as the input field's name. And let's say I also want to let my visitors know what kind of data they have to enter, so I'll add feed as a postfix. Next, you can go ahead and put as many elements to the calculator as you like. I'll add one more and it will be a slider. So again, I click the plus icon, choose a slider, and this time let's name it input2 at the element label. We can set our sliders to a range by adding minimum and maximum values, and these fields cannot be blank for the slider, so let's add 0 as a minimum and 1000 as a maximum. You can add points to your slider to make it look better and easier to use, so I'll add these points as 0, 250, 500, 750, and 1000. Make sure your points are separated by a comma. Then you can choose the style of your slider, I'll keep it regular, and lastly, I'll set a postfix to feed again. Once we're done with all the inputs, we can move to the outputs. So click the plus icon on the left and select formula. Name your formula field after the purpose of your calculator, in other words, it's the results. So a good choice might be total price, quantity, ROI, or you can choose to not show the label at all. What comes next is setting your formula. So each element you put in the calculator gets its own ID that has a hashtag and a unique number for easier navigation for your formula, and it usually represents the sequence of how you added each element. So when you're configuring your equation, you have to type in your element number that, that represents the inputs in the equation. You can also use a rich text editor, which will give you more structure. In this case, I just want to multiply the elements, so my formula is element 1 times element 2. We can finish by adding a prefix or a postfix. To not leave your users with just the numbers, we also recommend using more advanced features, such as an order form, mailing results, or payment button, that will make users take a step further in your customer's journey. Once you're done with the calculator and its elements, we can move to their design. Drag and drop your elements to rearrange the layouts, change their sequence, and click on the small arrow in the right corner of each element to change its size. That way, you'll be able to arrange them in columns and work on its visual appeal. Also note that calculators created with Calconic are responsive to different device view, so check and edit each view by pressing on the top middle device icons to change the different breakpoints. To finish, activate your calculator here and click on Save. Now your interactive calculator is ready to be embedded to your website. Simply click on the Embed button to get the code snippet for embedding the calculator to your website and click plus New Site to whitelist your website's address. Any subdomain, like this format www.example.com, are to be whitelisted separately. Then click Next to copy your web calculator's code snippet and you can go ahead to paste it on your page HTML source code. That's all for now and you are ready to build your first calculator. 
And if you need, you can contact us for help or for more information via email at support at calconic.com. Also know that Calconic has a YouTube channel where you can find tutorials on using certain calculator features as well as building specific interactive calculators. So check it out and good luck!